Hey everybody, Mike Kazmer here with pinkbike.com. I'm here with Steve Seletnik, one of the product managers at Specialized. He was involved with the development of the new Specialized Stump Jumper. We're gonna go over the details of the three different models. This is the regular Stump Jumper. And uh, yeah, just tell us what's different between this year and last year. For sure. Yeah, so one of the main things we focused on was the chassis. Uh, you can see we have a new, uh, new design of the frame. We call it the sidearm. Uh, really what we set out to do is uh, get after the stiffness of the bike, connect the front end to the rear end. That sidearm helps us achieve that. Get us a nice, uh, precise ride feel, connect your hands and your feet on your bike, and just give you a nice, nice precise tracking line every time when you're riding. Cool. And then also this bike has a lot of the same details as last year, but refinements as well. Um, you guys have this little nifty chain chain catch device and how did that come about? For sure. So we were doing some testing with some prototypes and uh, using Mastic just to uh, get us a little bit of sound deadening and wasn't really working out for us so we started making ripples with the Mastic. Noticed that it was quite a bit quieter uh, so we went in and did some crazy development with a bike on a shaker machine. Figured out that the nubs really helped deaden the sound of the bike, keep that chain nice and flat. So keeps the bike nice and silent and keeps your chain on your on your chain ring too. Cool, looks good. And it's got the swap box like before. We can keep all your goodies, um, and that's a little bit bigger, right? For sure. Yeah. We uh, we refined the interface, so no more bezel. It's a little sleeker, mounts directly into the frame. Uh, we've got a bigger opening and 20% more volume for snacks. Great, more room for all the Twinkies and gumdrops in there. Shock looks similar, but it's actually different. It's no longer proprietary. You can put any shock that you'd like on there. Um, and you also got a little flip chip. Yeah, for sure. So yeah, we of course we still tune the, the shocks to our bikes, but yeah, I wanted to go to a standard eye to eye uh, and stroke metric shock on all these bikes, so folks can put in whatever shock they'd like. Um, and we also can do a nice little steel flip chip in there, pretty uh, pretty unique, and just get a nice uh, six millimeter bottom uh, bracket adjustment and a half a degree head tube angle adjustment. Along with the new shock, the frame design has changed as well. Cable routing, got internal. Routing goes all the way through here and get tubes within tubes, so easy for the mechanics yeah, out there. Yeah, super easy. So there's some molded uh, nylon tubes that go right inside the, in the frame, uh, not molded directly into the frame, but they, they're pinned into the frame. Uh, so you insert the cables of the head tube and they exit the rear triangle. No lazy loop, no bolts, no zip ties. Super easy. Great. Looks good. All right. Well, that's the basic overview of this. Now we're going to go and look at each model individually. There's three models. You've got the Stump Jumper ST for short travel the regular Stump Jumper, and then the Stump Jumper Evo, which is an aluminum frame, really long, slack, kind of a more modern, progressive geometry on that one. So we'll go over each one individually. Well, now we're gonna take a look at the Stump Jumper ST, the short travel model. Um, so you still can pick 27.5 or 29 inch wheels. With 29 inch wheels, you get 130 millimeters of travel up front, 120 in the back. If you go with 27.5 wheels, it's 130 front and rear. Um, between the two bikes, is it the same frame, different shock, or how did you? Yeah, yeah, sure. yeah so it's the same chassis. Uh, what we change is the shock extension. So this piece right here, uh, the shock stroke and eye to eye and the fork travel, everything else is identical. The bikes will be spec pretty identical to the to the standard stump jumpers, just a little bit narrower volume tires, so two threes on these front and rear. Uh, but this bike is basically the replacement for camber in our line. Uh, but this bike is decidedly more of a trail bike. Um, it shares a lot of the same kinematics with the stump jumper, gives you that nice, a uh, precise planted ride, but this one's just a little bit snappier, a little bit more nimble, uh, lets you really just feel the trail a bit more, but really nice and all the like the pumpy, rolly single track for sure. Looks good. Yeah, probably a good bike for around here. We have some smoother trails we're at in California. You can see this being a good choice for that. So Stump Jumper ST, a little less travel, still a lot of fun. We're going to take a look at the regular Stump Jumper now. This is kind of the classic in the line, the one that's been there for a while. Um, but this year, a few more changes, gets a little longer, a little slacker. There's two different models. Um, you've got the 27.5 and the 29 inch wheels, so you can pick which one you want. You have 27 five inch wheels, then you have 150 millimeters travel front and rear, and 29 inch wheels, you get 150 up front and 140 in the back. Um, anything else between the two? All these models will be spec with 2.6 tires as well, on 29 and 27.5, so nice extra little bit of volume, keep you nice and control on the on the descents and feeling really good. Also longer dropper post, right? You have yeah. a little bit before, I think there's 125 on a lot of them, now you moved yeah. up a bit. Yeah, for sure. So uh, we. Uh, drop the seat, the seat two bytes dramatically on these bikes. We've got a new command post uh, that you'll see on the S Works and Expert models. That's 160 drop uh, XL through medium and 130 on smalls. Uh, and on the uh, uh, more affordable bikes, we have the X Fusion Manic post, really nice post. So 150 travel on that uh, on the larger sizes and 125 on the small. Great, always good to see. All right, now it's time to take a look at the Stump Jumper Evo aluminum frame. It's also the longest and slackest model in the Stump Jumper lineup, kind of for the aggressive, gravity oriented rider. Um, either has 150 millimeters of travel front and rear for the 27.5 wheels, or 150 up front, 140 in the rear for the 29er. Um, like I said, aluminum only, and it's two sizes. You have an S3 and an S2 size, kind of what they've done in the past, so they're more gravity oriented bikes. So basically, you can pick the reach that you want, and it has a short head tube short C-tube, and then you'll be able to adjust it to your size. Um, 
Other than that, the geometry. How did you guys come up with that? This is kind of one of the longer bikes, probably the longest trail bike you guys have ever made. Yeah, for sure. So when we were developing the Stump Jumper, we rode a lot of different mules, uh, just a lot of different alloy mules to just really try to push the geo as far as we could to see what would work for the for the more traditional bikes. And we landed on a, on something that like we said, climbs and descends really nicely with those bikes. Uh, but while we were doing these mules, we rode some pretty extreme ones uh, and we noticed some traits that we really liked. Uh, just front end traction, like all out control on, on really steep downhills. Uh, and we just decided to roll that into a production model. And that's the Evo. Cool, looks good. And so we've got the head angle, we've got 63 and a half head angle in the slack setting um, for both models. Or you can use that flip chip again, bump it up to 64 degrees. Um, there's just gonna be this one product spec, but the cool thing is the price, it's fairly affordable, $3,600 for the whole package like it is. Um, crawl speed drivetrain, box grip, damper fork, got your dropper post, short stem, um, got some code brakes on there, 12 speed drivetrain. I mean, it's a pretty pretty good build for the, the yeah. money there. Yeah, we tried to go a little bit more aggressive on the build to match the style of the bike. So you'll see like wider bars, 800s on these guys, butcher, front and rear, 2.6. Uh, code breaks, yeah, just really just try to make it out of the box, just the bike that people want to ride and just get out there on. All right, there you have it, the details of the three new specialized stump jumpers. I want to thank Steve for taking the time to run us through the line. If you want to watch more videos, you can click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. Yeah. yeah. Oh, some tech back there. Yeah, get some beats. Yeah. Going.